good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. A volcano is being activated in captured Western Armenia. There is a labor fuss in Taravart. We are determined to continue to build and improve the village, the head of the community. Statement of the deputy of Western Armenia, Guillermo Karamanyan. The countries participating in a Persian Gulf Black Sea Transit Corridor are close to improving the agreement. Embassy of Iran. The peace agent of the Azerbaijani world is being formed in Armenia, Benjamin Pogosyan. Let's find out the site of Western Armenia Lavash Lake of Kars. The construction of the wall of the border with Van and Iran in Western Armenia has been completed. Pedestrian and historical stones will be installed on the territory of Garni Temple. After the second largest and most important earthquake after Mount Ergos in occupied Western Armenia, Mount Hassan began to intensify after successive earthquakes. To monitor the activity of possible volcano Mount Hassan, measuring instruments will be installed that will monitor the movement of the Earth's crust. In addition, gas temperature and power measurements will be carried out. It is known that the last volcanic eruption of Mount Hassan occurred in a Holocene epoch that is about 10,000 years ago. In an interview with a correspondent of Artsakh Press, the head of the Taghavart community, Oleg Harutunyan, said there are no buildings in the community that have not been damaged to some extent as a result of the military actions. Five apartments completely burned down. Windows, doors and roofs of 75 residential buildings have been changed, and the construction work of 75 apartments have yet to begin. As a result of the war, the community school and the club where ongoing repairs are being carried out were also damaged. According to Harutunyan, 18 displayed families 50 residents have settled here. All of them are provided with houses and are engaged in cattle breeding, but they have other needs too. The village is gasified, provided with electricity and round-the-clock water supply. On November 9, 2020, the Armenians scattered all over the world were shocked to know that the armed action of Azerbaijan and Turkey against the indigenous Armenian people of Artsakh were abruptly interrupted by correction of agreement, which agreed to the appropriation of 85% of the territory of Artsakh. Since then, Artsakh has been illegally occupied by people who carried out military aggressions. The document was signed by the current Republic of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia. How the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian, expressed himself in writing during the events. Today we confirm that this trilateral agreement has no impact on the sovereign Armenian people of Artsakh. Read the full announcement on our official website. If implemented, this large geopolitical project could form a large transit route from India to Eastern Europe, activating trade ties between Asia and Europe, including increasingly Armenia's economic and political weight in the region. The Iranian embassy in Armenia informed Armen Press that the agreement on the transit corridor Persian Gulf Black Sea may be approved during the next meeting on the participating countries in Sofia. This is a major international project aimed at economically linking the ports of the Persian Gulf and the Black Sea. Iran put forward this idea back in 2016. Even then, official Tehran said that Sri Republic of South Caucasia would be included in the program, and Armenia could be one of these ways. However, it has become clear from the well-known events in the region in the recent months of Azerbaijan remains outside the project. Instead, the Republic of Armenia is actively participating in the program. Read the full article on our official website. On Western Armenia TV, political scientist Benjamin Pogosyan spoke about the most pressing topics of the Republic of Armenia, the peace agenda which is, in his opinion, is more Azerbaijani than Armenian. He presented a number of factors affecting the status of Artsakh, stressing that in 1988 the Artsakh liberation struggle began with the cause of for unification. But then, the thesis of independence was put into calculation, which seemed unclear from whom Artsakh wanted to get independence, given that even during the San Remo conference Artsakh itself was Put to of Armenia. Touching upon possible regional changes, in Hin also noted that Iran and Russia can exert their effective influence in this case. One of the attractions of Western Armenia is the Lavash Lake in Kars. The lake registered as a specially protected area also suffered from drought. Due to the drought, the water of Lavash Lake surrounded by the cane decreased by 80%. The lake is also a settlement for wild birds. Dear compatriots, you can also visit the site of Western Armenia and enjoy your winter vacation here. In order to ensure the security of Western Armenia-Iran border to prevent illegal lodging and smuggling, a 295-kilometer wall is being built. Most of the work of the construction of the wall on the 46-kilometer border line on the one Iran border has been completed. Despite the low air temperature on the hill, work on the construction of the wall continues. Due to the cold weather, there is no activity at the border. Cases of detection by the icy borders of migrants have been recorded. 
Works are being carried out on a territory of the Historical and Cultural Museum Reserve Garni. 24 basal pedestrian will be installed on both sides of the road leading to Garni Temple. Stones and fragments of archaeological significance will be placed on the pedestrian. The fragments were brought from different parts of the museum reserve. The purpose of their placement of pedestrians firstly is to show them to visitors and secondly to preserve the stones from destruction. Stones have been installed on such pedestrians on the territory of the museum reserve since 2018, but now it's necessary to increase this number. Now the musical part, Nubar Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.